to Topeka in 1979 and at the time I remember thinking you know we weren't going to be here you know for very long but people were saying oh you know be leery of moving into the Topeka High mm -hmm. District because there had been some racial unrest and even some you know kind of disruption in previous years but you started school I think in 2000 at Topeka High is that right, right. and graduated uh -huh. in 2004 right I feel like people are very open-minded. Mm -hmm. You and dad encouraged us to reach out to everyone and to be friends with everyone. So that was definitely not anything that I personally experienced. But I think that there was some informal segregation, maybe voluntary, if you could call it that, voluntary segregation. Mr. Henry, my Jamaican sociology and world history teacher, he made the comment when we were in class, he said, I thought that they ended discrimination and I thought that they ended segregation years ago, but I go to the cafeteria and there are black kids sitting over on one side and there are white kids sitting on the other side. And until he said something, I never even thought about that. We had, that was a big source of pride was our diversity. We had kids that were black, white, American Indian, Hispanic, Asian, like we were so proud of that. Do the um, schools and the race relations in the schools in Topeka seem any different now, 10 years after you've uh, graduated? Definitely, definitely. I see it especially at the elementary school level just because I think that's in contrast to my own personal experiences because growing up I was... It was the schools were predominantly white, mm -hmm. at least how I remember it. And so coming into the schools where the minority is now the majority, and so the demographic has definitely changed. So there's a lot more Hispanic students. There are a lot more African American students. There, are, I thought there were a lot fewer white students. To me, that's been one of the wonderful things about living where we have been is that you have this experience in living in this real world, um, of you know people from different backgrounds and, and being able to learn and live and love, you know, people um, of, uh, you know, with, of other uh, backgrounds. It's really important. I'm just really glad that, you know, we've been able to, to talk and share these experiences. Yeah. And, and uh, you're an awesome example. You're awesome. I think you're great. <laughs>